and welcome to June's edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. This month at the Fleet, we have a new exhibit opening called Tinkering. So today, we're going to be tinkering with Scribblebots. A special thanks to our friends at the Exploratorium's Pi Institute, who provided this great idea. And remember, you can always find written instructions for each month's experiment on our website at www.rhfleet.org. Okay, for this experiment, you will need a AA battery, one simple motor, which you can purchase at Michael's or any other craft store, a popsicle stick, scotch tape, a plastic cup, markers, blank paper, and a clothespin. There you go. Great, Brandon. Thank you. All right, so first you're going to make the brains of the Scribble Robot with a battery, your motor, and a popsicle stick. And what you're going to do is first tape your motor onto the end of the craft stick, like I've done here, and the battery actually perpendicular to the popsicle or craft stick. And now you're going to tape one end of the motor, I chose the red side, to one end of your battery. It doesn't matter, you can switch both of them. It'll still work. And leave the other side unattached so that it won't start running. Next, we're going to make the body of your robot. And what I've done here is tape my markers face down. I've chosen four, but you can vary it with three or five or anything like that. And tape face down. And then I'm going to take the, take the caps off. Now we're going to tape the brain onto the body using, what is it? What? Scotch tape, that's right, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's pretty secure. Looks good, looks like a robot. And I'm going to attach the other side of the battery. And it should start working. Now to offset your robot, you're actually going to place a clothespin on the end of the motor. And I'm going to show you guys the finished product over here. All right, where's that clothespin? That looks really good. Uh, now consider how you could change this pattern here by uh, just manipulating all sorts of things about your scribble bot. You should be thinking things like, what would happen if I, you know, changed around the orientation of this, of where the uh, markers are, things like that. This process of asking and answering questions is called inquiry, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing during our exhibit tinkering here opening on June 14th. Thanks, Brandon, and thank you guys for watching this month's experiment. We look forward to seeing you next month, and remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.